we're here uh, getting the trusses set on the roof. That's the job here today. Um, I have to make sure I get the proper end of the truss at the proper side of the building. And I want the gables, uh, the studded end cable trusses on the top of the stack so we can get them pulled out to the end, nailed down like a wall, and cheated. Uh, I gotta get up there. <laughs> So when I'm up and I set these, I, I make sure that um, he can see me. He knows where to put them. I mean, I can get up there, but I'll wait for him to get a little bit closer. So that end, I can tell, is a three-foot overhang end that needs to go over here. But he can, he can either spin them around or I can help him.
ideally you'd have both bundles laying flat uh, so that you can break bands on them and scoot the, the gable truss. The gable truss is the one that's different. It's got uh, members in there that replicate stud layout. They're actual studs in the gable. And they are non-bearing, uh, non-weight bearing trusses, meaning there's no uh, triangles in them. They're not intended to bear any weight because they have the outside wall to sit on. So studs are in there so you can sheet them and you know replicate the stud layout in the, in the wall below. Anyway, um, ideally I'd have both bundles set you know in position where you could break the bands and then scoot the gable truss off to the outside wall and uh, nail it down uh, sheet and that's to make sure it stays straight because there aren't any triangles in there to assure that it stays straight. I mean, for the most part it's it doesn't bend or go a whole bunch, but that is a possibility. Anyway, nailing the wall down like we do an exterior wall, sheet it, and then raise it. And we'll do as much as we can with the wall laying flat. If I can cut lookouts in it and put the lookouts on, put the fascia on, the barge, barge, uh, and if I can put the overhang plywood on, I do all that while it's laying uh, flat right here. And we stand it up, it's all done. I'm not out there on a ladder trying to do it. <clears throat> it's, just, it's just kind of the rule. You make things as easy as you can possibly make them. Anyway, this is kind of an open area. I can't just bring trusses out here and set them. I need to set them on the uh, walls so that they wouldn't, you know, trusses aren't very strong when they're laying flat. That's not the way they're intended to be uh, used. So, anyway, sitting on the walls, that's fine. We'll work entirely from this end. So I set this bundle here, I set the other bundle in the same orientation right next to them. So we can pull this gable off. Once we stand it, we can slide the next one, put it up, next one, next one, next one. When we get down to the end, you know, we'll need eight feet to put that last truss up. So we'll stand a couple trusses up out of the way, lean them against the ones we've already stood, sheet that gable, stand it, fill them in. So, uh, you know, we'll be here tomorrow, um, and uh, it'll, it'll be a good chance for me to show you how to, you know, I mean, one way to roll the roof. Uh, I suppose there are a number of ways, but remember, there's always my way, and then there's, the, you know, the wrong way. So, um, anywho, uh, that's kind of all I have. This is uh, a little dangerous when I'm up there on the top of the wall, right? Um, if I have to nudge or move or manipulate those trusses to get them exactly where I want them to be. Uh, I'm taking a chance up there with those things uh, spinning around. You know, chances are he's a reasonably good driver, won't do anything um, weird, uh, meaning uh, unexpected. But I don't know that. I don't know this guy. I've never seen him. Um, and the truck is, uh, it's a truss truck. Um, it's a boom truck. It has outriggers out there. Well, the outrigger on this side, the one supporting all the weight, is you know mushing into the dirt they've been shoving stuff underneath the outrigger uh, the block underneath the outrigger to bolster you know to support it but at what point does that fail i don't know uh, i'm up there on the roof uh, assuming that it won't uh you know dig into the ground and when that happens the thing moves over and anyway i need to be prepared for that just like a cat right i always say i'm like a cat uh, Anyway, uh, we'll see you tomorrow and we'll do more.